Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year to all of you. For today's video, I wanted to kind of reflect on the changes that happened in my life in 2020, what I learned from them, and also to talk about my goals for 2021 because even though 2020 was a total shit show, I think everybody would agree to that. I still want to continue learning and growing and discovering new things. But before we get into that, I filmed a short vlog on how we celebrated our New Year's Eve. So please enjoy and let's roll that clip. Today is December 30th. It's almost the new year. Today I'm just editing a video that I want to put up today. Hopefully I get to finish editing it. Also, my last YouTube video reached 400 views. That's freaking crazy. Thank you guys so much. I really, really do appreciate it. And thank you for leaving your comments as well. I really love connecting with you guys and just talking to anybody. I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day finishing this YouTube video. And at night, I'm having a Zoom call with my friends who I really miss, haven't seen in a really, really long time. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I feel like it's such a great way to cap off the year, to just have a catch up session and to talk about everything that has changed in our lives and how we feel about them and yeah really grateful as well for friends in my life who are still around honestly because so many people just come and go in your life people who you don't necessarily have to talk to every single day but just still know that they're there for you whenever you need them are with you during the lows and celebrate your successes with you those are the best kinds of people so Shade of jealousy. In truth, it's how I know that you're the one for me. And when you're seeing red, come over, we can talk it through. I'll throw a warmer shade on your colder moods. Yeah. Drip, drip in the canvas frame. Take a second to appreciate the beautiful mess we make. I don't wanna paint my Ooh, it's starting! This time last year, I was probably at the happiest point of my life, enjoying the company of my friends and the freedom that I had with living abroad in Shanghai. I was so hopeful for what 2020 could bring and what was ahead of me. I never in a million years would have guessed that this is what 2020 would look like for us. And although I can't express the same excitement and hopefulness this time around, in fact, I even feel a sense of dread and anxiety about everything that's still going on. One thing I know for sure is that I made it through the year. And somehow, that gives me comfort in knowing that there are certain things I can rely on to keep me going. And that simply making it through the past year is something that I can be proud of. Out of. So if you've also made it this far, well done and I'm so, so proud of you. Hey guys, it is the morning of January 1st, 2021. It's so crazy even just saying that out loud. We had a lot of fun last night, did some fireworks, and now I'm about to head down to make some good old hot chocolate. First drink of 2021. I started out 2020 by buying myself a planner and I started journaling for the first time in a very long time and it's easily become one of my greatest sources of comfort. It just has helped me tremendously with my mental health journey and my spirituality and so I really recommend it for anyone who wants to kind of ease their stress and anxiety. I swear to you guys this is one of the best things that you can do for yourself. It just helps you process things and it's such a great source of comfort so I'm so excited for my planner planner that I bought for 2021. Just wanted to show you guys quickly. I love my to-do lists in column. That's why I specifically picked this planner out. And I love that they have sections on top as well as on the bottom where I can write my gratitudes, my affirmations, daily mantras, goals, wins. And the rest of this space, I kind of leave that out for like quotes that I find online or just small like journal entries throughout the week. So yeah, again, I really recommend it for anyone who's been struggling mentally. I feel like 
that journaling is one of the best strategies to help you cope with anxieties or just negative thoughts in general. Now let's talk about 2020. 2020 was a motherfucking roller coaster ride, okay? I spent the New Year's in Shanghai, the school semester ended, said goodbye to my friends, thinking I would see them again in a couple of weeks, started hearing news about the spread of the virus, went into panic mode, booked tickets to fly home, got home to Manila, remained optimistic until the virus turned into a pandemic and now Manila's on lockdown. I continued my classes online, thinking the virus was gonna go away in a couple of months, but it didn't. And so I had to stop being in denial, started looking for jobs, created my YouTube channel, landed a one-month internship after four months of searching, didn't get absorbed after that internship, felt horrible, started looking for jobs again, and ended the year with a new full-time job and a YouTube video that reached more than 1,000 views. So yeah, 2020 literally consisted of high highs and low lows. And just like that, it's 2021. I mean, what a fucking year 2020 has been, right? Can you wrap your head around it? Cause I can't. But on that note, I wanna talk about my goals for 2021. So my first goal for 2021 is something that I've actually been working on since last year. I want to be more present. It's like I want to be here for the things that I'm experiencing, if you know what I mean. Like I just want to live in the moment, as cheesy as that sounds, and I just don't want to let these moments pass me by because I've been that way for so long. Like as somebody who struggles with anxiety, I'm always thinking about the future and my mind is always in the future. And that's honestly really sad because at the end of the day, there's no past or future that we can experience other than what's here right now we are only ever in this moment that kind of sounds like a movie quote but yeah i just want to live as much as possible and to be here while i still can so this year's mantra is going to be i'm here i'm alive and it matters so my second goal for 2021 is to absorb inspiring content whether it's screen based or not screen based i actually have some many practical goals which could help me achieve that so first i wanted to buy myself a kindle to help me get back into reading and my lovely sister surprised me with a kindle last christmas so thanks sis shout out to you but yeah i really want to get back into reading because a i want to broaden my vocabulary and b i just want to understand different perspectives and read about stories whether it's fiction or non-fiction it doesn't really matter i just want to understand and know more of the world and people and their lives as a way of empathizing with them i really want to make it a goal as well to spend the first 15 minutes of my day either meditating or reading right after i wake up like this is so crucial for me because i need to put my mind in a space where i feel inspired and positive it just makes me feel less anxious and it really does make a huge difference and if I'm not mistaken, I think Hugh Jackman does this as well, so I'm just taking tips from great people. And lastly, I want to absorb all of these content, whether it's film, TV show, YouTube videos, music, whatever it is, and not feel guilty about them, okay? I want to change my mentality of thinking that work productivity equals success, that anything I do that's not related to work is something that I should feel guilty about because it's using up time that could be allotted for work. Yeah, no, that was my mentality for so long and I feel like it was such a huge part of why I felt so anxious all the time. So this year, no more. If it brings you joy, count it as a success, period. Period! So my third and final goal for 2021 is to continue creating in making YouTube videos. I started making YouTube videos as a way of expressing my creativity and as a way of preserving like memories and certain moments in my life, kind of like a visual diary. But most importantly, I really wanted to connect with people from anywhere around the world. I think that's still the most rewarding thing about doing this whole YouTube thing. So when I started my YouTube channel, I was still looking for a job at that time and so I had so much free time in my hands. But now that I have a job, as much as I want to prioritize YouTube, I can't because this job is something that I asked for and that I prayed for so I want to make sure that I'm responsible about it and I don't mishandle it or jeopardize it in any way but that doesn't mean that I can't make YouTube videos anymore I mean the goal is to continue putting out videos right so yeah I definitely want to push my creativity and discover other youtubers as well who make me feel inspired creatively and in life in general right now I am absolutely in love with Moya Mawini, Damon Dominique and Best Dress Ashley I just absolutely love their YouTube videos and because of that I want to improve the quality of my videos I definitely want to invest in buying a camera a vlogging camera and a better software editing tool this year because right now I just use my iPhone for the most part my other camera doesn't have a flip screen and is out of focus 98% of the time it's actually so frustrating that's why I just use my 
iPhone and I also use iMovie to edit my videos. I do try my best and manipulate it to get the most out of it but at the end of the day it's still very limited so I really want to upgrade to Final Cut Pro once I have the money for it. And yeah, I want to start color grading my videos or at least adding some kind of a filter to make it a little bit more cinematic or to have that kind of feel. So yeah, those are my goals for 2021. But before I end the video with everything that has happened in 2020, if there are two lessons that I can get out of it and share with you guys and carry with me for the rest of my life, it would be this. First, we owe it to each other to have mutual respect, to have love, compassion, and to fight for one another. We have to open our minds and understand injustice and stories of people who have gone through it. Because at this point, it's not enough to be silent or tolerant. We have to learn how to speak up for others, whether it's being active on social media and spreading awareness on certain causes like the Black Lives Matter movement. Lately on my part, I've been educating myself on HIV awareness. And on a more local setting, extrajudicial killings in the Philippines are very rare. Rampant. There's police brutality, healthcare workers are underpaid, the government is corrupt as fuck. And so in times like these, it matters what you say, it matters where you stand, and it matters what you do. So please educate yourselves and the people around you, register to vote, and vote when election season rolls around. This is something that I'm committed to doing and will continue to do for as long as there are people who are being overlooked and oppressed in society. And one last thing guys, this is actually a journal entry that I have from April 19, 2020. I wrote here, biggest lesson in 2020. So I'm just gonna read it to you guys. I wrote, we all have a part to play in this world, but the world will be nothing without healthcare professionals, scientists, researchers, and every essential goods and services worker. While we remain stuck at home, they go out every day to provide us food and risk their lives so that they can save others. My only hope after this pandemic is that we will never again look down on them and regard them as lowly workers because as we sit in the comforts of our homes and helplessly witness the world crumble around us, us, they are the ones giving us hope and paving the way for the world to recover from the horrors of this pandemic. To every healthcare professional out there and every essential goods and services worker, thank you, thank you, thank you. I recognize you, I see you, and we owe so much of our lives, safety, and security to you guys. Thank you. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I honestly don't know what to feel. I feel both happy and sad, excited and anxious, and it's kind of how I've been feeling all year, you know, just two extremes on the emotional scale all the time and some days it drives me nuts some days i'm able to look past it and think that it's all going to be okay but each day varies and that's okay it is not an easy time for anyone and there are so many days where you're struggling and no one's really there to see it so if you've made it this far if you made it through the year congratulations i'm so proud of you you should be too and please count that as a success on your part that's it for this video guys the sun is about to set just right on time please like this video subscribe to my channel and and leave a comment down below. Comment your new year goals and resolutions. I would love to read them. And again, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye. <laughs> welcome or welcome. Oh, me. And sorry, let us. Because I can't. Why the fuck did I say it that way? Let's do that again.